Aaron Corbett. All right, Aaron. So you have two red light violations. I think one of these is absolutely, I wasn't paying attention and I was working at one and unfortunately I had, a, I had to get to Aubin very quickly and I had the doctor on the phone yelling at me and I just, I missed the light. I, I, went, I went through. And um, the other one, I was following a coworker to do a removal and I was trying to just follow her. <laughs> what do you do for a work? I'm a DCYF investigator. Oh, so you work for the Department of Children, Youth, and Families? Yes, sir. God love you for doing that. That's a difficult, difficult job. It has its moments, Your Honor, just like your job. <laughs> so you'd go out and determine whether or not children are being properly cared for? Yes, Your Honor. And I have personal knowledge of situations that were really nightmares where children were being abused. and Some days it's very hard to imagine that people do this to children. It's... You sometimes can't even, it's unfathomable what people do to their own children. I mean, I've had cases where I'm literally crunching on pills, walking to try and get a kid, and there's feces everywhere, and there's just piles of trash, and you're just amazed that this kid is actually okay. And you're just trying to find them a safe spot for the night while they can get mom, mom and dad some help, you know? You know, when I hear stories like that, it breaks my heart. I just hope every day that the kids I saw are safe. That's my goal. The kids I see are safe. I want to congratulate you for the job that you do, for all of the community being on the bench. We hear stories that are so shocking with these poor, innocent children, you know. And I have people come into the courtroom uh, so many times with children. And I look at the, I look at the kids, and they're so innocent, and their eyes are looking up here. And many, many, many times, I'll have the kids come up on the bench. <laughs> I bet they love that. <laughs> and I'll ask them if they want to help me with the case. You know, and the reason for that is that I want them to understand that the institutions of government, you know, are not mean. You know, are there to help them? Are understanding? Are compassionate? Because they could have an impact on how that youngster feels. You know, but they just break my heart when they come in, you know. So anyone that deals with children has a very special place in my heart, you know. Thank you, Yarn. It's, it's teamwork. We all work really hard together to get what we can done to every day to make sure it's a safer place. That's all we do. Listen, you have a thankless job. I know that. You know? <laughs> no one usually likes when I show up. <laughs> but hang in there. Don't give up. Okay, we need you. <laughs> we need people like you to do your job. Well, that's the, that's the good news. The bad news is you're going to end up paying $35 court cost. Good luck to you. Thank you, Your Honor. I appreciate it. Good luck.